Experts who study disasters say about 10 to 15 percent of people remain calm. Another 15 percent totally freak out. And the vast majority are simply stunned into doing nothing when disaster hits. But if you ever found yourself in a situation similar to the Paris attack, there are important steps to take to get out alive. Megan Alexander has details. Let's go. You find yourself in the midst of a terrorist attack. How do you get out alive? What's the first thing you do when you walk into a concert hall? Well, most people want to get up front to see the band. What I'm doing is I'm looking at every exit and entry point, knowing where to go if something happens. So we've got Safety there. expert Bill Stanton showed me ways you can reduce the risk of being injured or killed. We went to the Manhattan Center's Grand Ballroom in New York City. We're watching the stage, and what happens when we hear something? We go this way. We push out. And I bring you. So what happens if I can't get to the exit? I get shot immediately. What do you do? Well, listen, we're all not from a diehard movie. Know your capability. If you can't run, if you're out of shape, if there's no way out, well, then you may want to play dead. One of the victims at the Paris Concert Hall did, in fact, play dead for an entire hour. You're going to be the unfortunate dead person. Lay down. So now, if I'm injured or if I'm physically not able to get through the crowd or something, I'm going to get down and I'm literally going to use this person's, you know, body as my shield. And I'll pull them as much as I can from the gunfire, acting as if I were dead as well. The attacks in Paris prove once again there is no way to predict when or where terrorists will strike. The most important thing is don't be a sheep and follow the sheep in front of you. Have a plan of action in your mind. Something goes down. Act on it. Be the lion, not the sheep. The threat is real.